Welcome back to another episode of Timberland. As you can see behind me, I brought up some more equipment to the job site that I'll be needing to use. I got up really early this morning to bring some of that equipment up here. There's still some more equipment that I need to bring up yet. But it's early Monday morning, the rain has stopped, and I need to get to work. Alright, the first thing I need to do this morning is I need to carve a road up this hill into the job site. That will make getting in and out of the job site a lot easier with the equipment. So I've already scoped out an area that would be perfect to put the temporary road going into the job site. So I'm going to jump on the D7 and start carving that road out. And if anybody was wondering where the word Timberland came from, or why this series is called Timberland, Timberland is the name of the family business. It's actually called Timberland Logging. So this tree in front of me, I'm going to have to cut down. I'm just going to use a chainsaw, which is all I have. My father and I have never invested in a bigger piece of equipment to cut trees down. It's all been done by chainsaw. Uh, at some point, I need to look into something a little bit bigger for taking trees down than a chainsaw. But that's all we got to use for right now. So I'm going to take that tree down. Push it aside with a dozer so I can continue going up into the job site with the road.
Once I get this tree out of the way, uh, I'll go down and get the stump grinder, get that stump out of the way. I'll come back for this tree later and harvest it. But for now, I just need it out of the way so that I can continue on making this road. So, move down and get the stump grinder. This is a pretty steep hill, and this little John Deere skid steer is having all it can do to climb it. But we're almost, almost there. Stick this out of the way. Once I get to the top of this hill, I'm going to have to create or make uh, a spot, which is what I guess depends on where you're from. Some people call it. The yard, other people may call it the landing. So it'll be a big area that I'll be using for hauling the trees to, processing them, and loading them onto the trucks, or the truck. So I'm going to clear this little area right here. It's not going to be an overly big landing slash yard. I got the road carved up into the job site, and I got the landing all cleared out. I got to haul that load of dirt out of here. In this particular job that I'm doing, the contract, in the contract, 
they want me to clear an X amount of trees. It's no select cutting or anything like that. I just have a certain area that they want pretty much clear cut. So I'm going to start taking the trees down around the landing. That way I can expand the size of the landing because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need to be able to drive the log truck up here and turn it around. And I'm going to have the log loader up here as well. I haven't hauled that up to the job site yet. But I need the room and space for turning and having the uh, equipment up here. So it's going to need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to clear the trees around it, expand it a little bit, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to take this load of dirt, haul it out of here, and I'll be back to start cutting some trees down. All right. I got the dirt hauled out of here. I'm going to start, as I need the pieces of equipment, I'm going to start bringing them up, using them, and then when I'm done with them, I'm just going to start parking them right off to the side here out of the way so that I don't have to keep going up and down the hill to get them. I don't know if I'll even need the excavator, but I brought it just in case. So let's start go uh, let's go ahead and start getting some of these trees cut down here. I don't have any way to delim anything. Like I said, my father was pretty uh, adamant about just using what we have. He didn't like to buy newer equipment, so we all these years we've been using a chainsaw to cut the trees down and to delim them. We're not. He didn't want this to become an overly huge company, so he didn't see the need of spending all of the extra money on bigger equipment, but. I'm going to probably start updating some of the equipment, getting some bigger equipment, looking, uh, looking into hiring people uh, to help me, because I am not going to want to do this just with a chainsaw by myself all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting some more trees down and uh, start getting them limbed up, and we'll go from there. Take the uh, forwarder up to the job site. Hopefully, it's got enough power to make it up to the top. Come on, old girl.
get this tree drug back out of the woods here so I can get the limbs off it. I think I got it. Maybe. Don't ask me how my father and I have done this this way for so many years successfully because this is my first day officially I guess you could say actually logging by, by myself since I took over the family business and I am having a having some struggles. there for now. Get the rest of these uh, hauled out of the woods and uh, start cutting them up to, s to the size they need to be. Alright, I got more trees cut down. I took the limbs cut off them. I cut them down to the size I needed them to be. Piled them back there behind me. I got as many of the stumps that I could find in the brush all grinded grinded down so I'm going to take the d7 and start making this landing a little bit bigger I may come across more stumps but we shall see it's very th thick brush up here so I may have I may have missed some This is probably as much as I'm going to make the landing be once I get once I get this all cleared out. This will this will be oh I guess I missed a whole tree right there and a stump. But I'm going to go back lengthwise a little bit further. Probably just go about to here. I ain't gonna be able to go much wider because it drops off down over the bank there, so. Like I said, it's thick up here, so it's easy to lose a stump in the bush. Apparently a whole tree I cut down didn't even didn't even see it. I 
But I'm going to keep getting this landing done. Once the landing's all done, then I can really buckle down and start getting these trees harvested. I'm going to probably look, start looking for some secondhand used newer equipment that's going to help me uh, be able to get what I need to get done a lot easier. That old Volvo's starting to show its age. Had a struggle even getting up the hill. It's been having a struggle hauling trees even on a flat surface a little bit. So it's old. It's had its day. I really think it's time for me to start upgrading. So I'm going to look around, see what I can find for some newer used equipment. That will do it for me on this episode of Timberland. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I thank you all for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Take care.